You're listening to an archived Cabral Concept podcast. After listening to this show, check out the most up-to-date podcasts available at stephencabral.com slash podcasts or search directly on iTunes. And now, welcome to the Cabral Concept, where board-certified naturopath and integrative health practitioner Dr. Stephen Cabral shares how he was diagnosed at the age of 17 with a life-altering illness and given no hope for recovery. It was only after studying and traveling all over the world did he discover how to combine ancient Ayurvedic healing practices with state-of-the-art naturopathic and functional medicine to fully rebalance the body and re-energize it with life. It's time to discover how to get well, lose weight, and finally feel alive again. And now, here's your host, Dr. Stephen Cabral. Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the show. Happy Friday to you. If this is a Friday when you're listening to The Cabral Concept, I appreciate you tuning back in. Always excited to get into our Friday Reviews, where we go over the best of the past week. Everything that's been going on in the private practice with over at Equilibrium Nutrition, bringing you some of my favorite research from the week that I believe will benefit you and your family and your loved ones, as well as a product review, book review, or something that I'm loving right now in my life or people in my practice are using and actually getting great results from it. So, so many great product reviews coming up over the past few weeks. Hopefully you tuned in last week where I told you that we were going to be reviewing some brand new and a new form of tea out there. So if you're a tea drinker, stay tuned for today's episode. That's will be today's product review. Coming up very soon, I have a Binaural Beat program, a brand new one and a very high tech one that if you like binaural beats, you like meditation and you want to take that to the next level, this is for you. And then finally, after, well, almost five years of testing different types of organic-based mattresses and not loving one, I finally found one I love and I want to bring that to you soon. So that and so much more, plus the books I love and that I'm reading, research that I'm, I'm going over, we bring that to you each and every Friday. All right. So without further ado, let's get right into the show. The first thing I want to go over is that if you haven't heard, because I haven't announced it to be honest, we have a new loyalty rewards program over at EquilibriumNutrition.com. There's nothing to buy. If you've ever shopped over there before, I just invite you to sign in. That's it. You just get free rewards, free points, free things that we don't even sell on the website by becoming a member. We have two different types of membership. And again, these are free. It is the Sapphire membership or the Platinum membership. You can check out the differences right over at equilibriumnutrition.com forward slash rewards. Again, completely free. And you get points for things like your everyday purchases. You get points for just engaging with us and being part of the community on social media. You get points for product reviews, your honest product review. We don't tell you what to review, just give you points if you want to engage in that way. Your anniversary with the company. How long have you been with us? We would love to just, again, welcome you into this community. This is something fun that I've wanted to do. Not a lot of health programs out there are rewarding you for being healthy. And that's what we should do, right? We Our health insurance doesn't cover our nutritional supplements. Our health insurance doesn't cover our at-home lab tests. Well, you should get something for that. That's at least how we feel. So that's what we're doing right now. You can head on over to equilibriumnutrition.com, earn some amazing rewards. And again, it is absolutely free to join and you'll be able to get access to things that we don't offer anywhere else, such as our new clothing line. It's not a whole clothing line, but some great things that are just for members only. So t-shirts, sweatshirts, things like that, that we're excited just to get out to people. And of course, calls with our team you can earn. You can earn free, earn free detoxes. There's so much great stuff. So check it out over there. Again, this is something that we just want to do that I thought would be a lot of fun. I love these types of things. And um, of course, hopefully, well, at least I hope that you'll enjoy it as well. All right. What else I want to go over right now are a few of the podcasts that I forgot to mention over the past couple of weeks that I've been on. So one right off the bat is with Ian in the Fearless and Healthy podcast. Ian is always great to chat with. I've been on his show twice now and a really, really nice conversations. He's someone that's deep in health. He interviews experts in all different fields. He's got great people on his show. And I was fortunate enough to be able to be asked to be on his show. So that is Ian over at Fearless and Healthy Podcast. If you have a smartphone, I'm sure it's on that podcast app. 
But the other thing is I'm actually going to embed all of the podcasts for easy listening today. Head on over to stephencabral.com forward slash one. 337. If you'd like to hear my interview I did with Ian, I was on his show. And then another one, which was different for me, but I've done a few now that have been actually live and they have been live streamed right on YouTube, something I hope to be able to do more of in the future myself. So that was over at, let's see, this was with Justin and Justin's show is Extreme Health Radio. And Justin and I actually had a pretty amazing conversation. He is someone who is definitely well-read in the topic of health and wellness overall. He knows about 5G. He knows about all sorts of different heavy metals. And we had a really great conversation. Uh, To be honest, I typically never know the questions that someone's going to ask before the podcast starts. So just a little behind the scenes. Most of the podcast hosts that interview me They just say, I've read your book or whatever it might be, and I'm just going to let the conversation flow. Here's some topics that I want to go over. Or they they say, I have some topics I want to go over. Do you want to know what the questions are? And I say, to be honest, it does not really matter to me what you're asking question-wise. I'm happy to have the conversation, happy to go into it. So this was a live stream video. We did quite a long uh, interview. I think we did about 90 minutes. It was a lot of fun, one about 30 minutes longer than I thought it was going to. Uh, But we talked about so much great stuff. So I will embed that video today right over at stephencabral.com forward slash 1337, all sorts of different topics that we went over. So hopefully you enjoy those two interviews, many more to come. I've done a couple more um, live streams that are live that day, and then the host takes them down and then launches them about six weeks or so later. Interesting. I love seeing how other podcasts kind of distribute their material to people. Uh, We're going to be doing a lot more live video and also video in 2020 daily. So check that out. We're going to go big for 2020. I'm excited to launch that. That's more I'll be talking about later this year. We don't have all the nuts and bolts, as they say, together. But no doubt about it, we're going to make it happen. It's something that I've wanted to do for many, many years. And it's a project that I think will take us to that next level in terms of reaching more people. For me, it's always about how many more people can I share this information with? And that's always what it's about. And it's pretty much the only thing what it's about with me is that I have this information. I know that it helps people. I've been doing it for almost 20 years in full-time practice, longer than that when I was in college. And I know that it works. That's it. And I didn't make it up. What I did was I assimilated thousands of books traveled all over the world, studied under many different mentors, developed a practice, completed over a quarter million appointments with my team, and we have the data to prove it. That's it. Like It's just, to me, honestly, it's now very simple. And that's what people need. They need to know that the person they are working with or they're listening to has gone through it themselves, and they've helped others to achieve their goals. And that's all that we want to do. I mean, that, that is it in a nutshell. So hopefully, we're going to be able to reach more people in 2020. Huge goal of mine. That is that. Okay. So those are the two shows I've been on. I would love to bring you now one of my new favorite product reviews. Now, keep in mind, I'm reviewing products all the time. Most of them never make it to the, I can't really say light of day, but whatever the equivalent would be for a podcast. So they never make it to my voice to get to you. And the reason is that they're not good enough. They're just not good enough. Like That literally is the bottom line. But one product was... A lot of people have been telling me for quite some time, you need to look at this product. And then all of a sudden, my wife who drinks matcha tea, she drinks a matcha latte every single morning without fail. It's every morning, seven days a week. That's it. And it's been going on now for many years. So she drinks matcha tea. It's an organic matcha tea. She's gone through all sorts of different types, a ceremonial grade, but always organic, of course, and always tested to be pure. And she mixes that with a little bit of um, coconut cream, some type of almond milk or whatever that might be, and then adds hot water to it because it's not all that, and then uses that whisk I was just talking about on just a couple of Friday reviews previous. And that's a nice matcha tea, and she does it right. She doesn't use boiling water. She uses water cooler than 170 degrees, basically just not boiling water so that it doesn't denature and, and destroy the antioxidants as well that are there with the tea. So I don't know, this is maybe about six months ago or so, probably around there, probably in the spring of last year, maybe a little bit before, she started drinking a new type of green tea that come in these little thin sachets. And it was called peak tea. Now, I, I thought didn't think too much of it because I'm not a big tea drinker myself. 
and, and I'll, I'll get into that in just a moment. But I see her drinking it every day, and she basically just tears off the packet and puts it right in. And I'm like, oh, it's just a different type of matcha. Well, little did I know, as she's now showing me this tea, it's her favorite tea, that this is a new type of tea, and it's essentially a cold brew crystallization process that enables them to use pressure and cold water to increase the antioxidant capacity of that tea, meaning that it's somewhere between 6 and 12 times more antioxidants by using these tea crystals. Now, do I say, you know, never drink your favorite tea again? No, I'm not necessarily saying that. But it's really nice to see that we can use a cold brew process to preserve more of the antioxidants. So I thought that that was great. And of course, okay, so I said, let me try some of these teas and I'll get into the game myself. Well, I wanted to know more about it. So before I get into that, just one second. It's interesting because the founder actually spent a little bit of time in China and learned an ancient process that I was privy to that I learned many years ago. And not a lot of people know about it, but you can use it for almost anything. And we use it actually for our vitamin C crystals. Not a lot of people know this, but we have a product that is, uh, well, it's literally called vitamin C, pure vitamin C, and it's vitamin C crystals. And it's the same type of process. Well, here's how it works. When you are, let's just go back to tea. When you're in ancient China, you're making this very special, very potent type of tea. What you did was you made an, you made a huge batch. Let's talk about like a five-gallon vat of tea. And they use the pure tea crystals or the pure tea leaves. And what you would do is over time, you would let that water evaporate. Now, as the water evaporated, what you were left with was actually a paste, a tea paste. Now that tea paste could be traveled with anywhere and all you would need to do is add some water. Well, here's the thing. You could also take the tea paste as a medicine because in Chinese medicine, it has a lot to do with herbalism. And that tea paste would contain a very concentrated load of all of the nutrients that you want to get from a specific tea. So it was really interesting. And this is what the founder set out to do. Again, I always love the story that goes along with it. One of my favorite things, as you probably saw last week, we launched our new Whole Food Bars. They are the most rigorously tested bar out there. They are safe from most schools, free of the top allergens, no tree nuts, no eggs, no dairy, no no any of that, right? Like they are a clean bar. And they're also tested for glyphosate. Almost nobody tests for glyphosate. We do. So look at this. This company is called Peak Tea, and I'll link it up today. So I'll link up the flavors that I've tried at stephencabral.com forward slash 1337. Here's what they test for. They're gluten-free. They are free of tree nuts, peanuts, dairy, shellfish, and soy, unless it's in that specific tea. It is cold water processed, and it's screened for pesticides, heavy metals, and toxic mold. So that's one thing I look for for tea. And actually, my wife's been looking for this for many years because tea leaves or any type of herbs set in just a big vat can get a little bit of dampness or moisture, and it can actually grow mold. Not uncommon. Tea leaves or herbs in general can also have heavy metals. And then, of course, if they're not organic, they can be heavily sprayed as a crop with pesticides. So this company does a triple tox test. And I think I just made that up. That was a fun fun little <laughs> alliteration there. A triple tox test. And then um, they're looking at pesticides, heavy metals, and mold. So great to see clean product. The ones that I've used so far that I like are the chaga tea, the chaga mushroom tea. Chaga is actually a really great way to increase oxygenation to the body and improve overall endurance. And it's been used for many, many years. I've been using chaga for many years off and on. I don't use it all the time, but it's a nice thing. It is nice to use before a workout. It's nice to use as a mid-afternoon herbal-based tea that you can easily use and, and give yourself a little energy boost. The other one that I really enjoyed, and I actually just did this last night as well, is called Rishi Calm Elixir. And off the top of my head, I'm going to see if I can remember all the different ingredients in it. But um, I know that it, reishi is the main mushroom that it's using in there. And then it also has a little bit of sweetness with uh, date and monk fruit. What is the last ingredient that it has in there? I believe it's goji berry. Yes, goji berry, I believe, is one of that those four flavors. So really nice. Here's how I make my teas. You don't have to do it like this. I use a Welly thermos-based bottle. So I'm going to link that up today as well. And what I do 
is because it keeps it super hot for four hours, five hours. I've even had those things keep it hot for six to eight hours. It's unbelievable. So all I do is I put in the tea packet. So I'll rip it open, put the tea packet at the bottom, just the powder, basically, the crystals. And then I'll add in a little bit of, and I could use anything, but sometimes it's macadamia nut milk. Sometimes it's some um, organic coconut powder, just a little bit. And then I will add the hot water. And I'll just shake it up. And by shaking it up, it creates this froth or like a latte. Now, you can use the frother that I just talked about two weeks ago on the show. Super inexpensive electric one that you can just keep right in your draw. Easy for using a mug. I actually just like shaking it up. It makes this thicker, nice latte. And then you can pour it into your mug. I believe, yeah, if I haven't already posted that on Instagram, I'll post that to my stories. Super easy to do. And it makes a really nice, rich drink. And that will absolutely be part of a nice bedtime ritual that you can kind of calm the body down. So those are my two favorite. That's what I've sampled. As I've told you before, my wife drinks green tea every single day. Me and green tea, we don't exactly mix. We're not best friends. We don't get along well. And uh, I don't feel as great when I drink green tea. Now, keep in mind, I'm an enigma when it comes to that. I'm an outlier. But what I like to do is do this for you. I stay as unbiased as humanly possible. Green tea, if you could only pick one tea in the world, it would be green tea. I assure you, if you can only choose one out of all of them, green tea is that for most people. It has so much research on it. It's a super powerful antioxidant. It actually has some detox-based benefits, believe it or not, very few teas do. And you can get that, of course, by drinking an organic matcha or a nice, good quality organic green tea. So there's some wild varieties as well, but a lot of times we just do organic because we know that it's tested and clean. So keep in mind this, that green tea also does not have the caffeine spike that you would get with coffee. So you can get some caffeine in green tea, typically around 44 milligrams or so, which is about one third of a small coffee and about uh, one-sixth of a Starbucks small, which would be, guess would be a tall. And you also get the benefits, though, of the L-theanine, which keeps you more calm and relaxed. And that is one of the research, one of two research studies I want to bring you today. So again, I just want to go back to this. Just because I don't do something doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it and that it might not have benefit for you, which is why I bring it to you. So that's the thing is that I just feel like we shouldn't preach to people exactly what we do. We should do what's what's best for people. As a health practitioner, you know, you, you have to do that because what works for you is not always what works best for someone else. So bring them what it works best. And that's what it's all about. So a green tea, you know, if you were doing like, think of it this way, if you were doing multiple teas per day, if you chose to do that, you could do a green tea in the AM, you could do a reishi or calming tea before bed. That would work. And then if you want to do a chaga in the afternoon, you could do that as well. I mean, You don't have to drink tea all day long, but you get the point. That's how you would basically use it. I don't recommend drinking any type of caffeinated, even if it is tea-based before bed. But green tea, let me just read you this study. This is from the Journal of Functional Foods, July 2019. And again, I've done many shows on green tea and matcha. So you can just go to stephencabral.com forward slash podcasts and just type in green tea or type in matcha, which is M-A-T-C-H-A. And matcha is basically just the tea leaves ground down. It's, it's not exactly that simple, but that's really what it is, rather than getting the loose leaves or the tea bags. Okay, so I'm going to read you this right now. Green tea originating, or at least that we know, becoming most popular out of Japan, there's a new study, and it was done on anxiety. And it appears that using matcha powder or matcha extract, it's more potent, has calming effects due to the mechanisms that activate dopamine D1 receptors and serotonin 5-HT1A receptors, both of which which are closely related to anxiety and anxiolytic-based behavior. So what we were looked at, and again, another great thing about green tea is you want to look for more of the shade grown. And the shade grown is just going to have that much more power in terms of the EGCG antioxidant-based effect. And so EGCG is EGCG is one of those called catechins and one of the more powerful polyphenols that you can get from brightly colored fruits and vegetables. And in this case, the plant would be the herb in the tea. So that's one of the things that you'll get from more of a matcha-based tea and especially an organic or shade-grown based variety. So 
what we're looking at now, and of course, further research is needed. But I also believe, you know, what, what we're doing is we're using plants as medicine again, which is a great thing to do. But we're looking at the effects of something like L-theanine. And we're looking at the other polyphenols and its interaction with the body, its ability to help balance healthy levels of inflammation in both mind and body. And by using things that calm the nervous system, such as an L-theanine, you are able to better balance the body at a homeostatic level, which means things are, they've created what's called equilibrium. And when you achieve equilibrium, you don't have the highs and lows, right? That means balance. That means a state of balance. And that's always what we're trying to achieve. So again, there's longevity benefits. There's weight loss benefits with green tea. There are detox benefits with green tea and much more. So Again, if you're only looking at one, the benefits are there. I mean, they, they really are. If you could choose one, I would probably choose that green tea. The one thing also, I'll just say the last thing about uh, Peak Tea, and I'll, I'll link them up today again at stephencabral.com forward slash 1337, is that they don't claim to be a detox tea. And I love that. I can't promote teas that claim that they're a detox tea. There are no detox teas out there. Now, they can help you with... Uh, cleansing the kidneys and they can help you give products that would then aid in better digestion, like a ginger tea or something like that. But they don't detox the body. That's not a reality. Reality for detoxification, remember, goes back to ramping up phase one and phase two. So unless you're drinking like a garlic-based tea or something that's going to ramp up sulfur, you're probably not going to be able to get those specific benefits or your broccoli tea, which hopefully no one's drinking. So just wanted to put that out there. A good, a, just a, a good product that you may want to look into. Okay, up next, want to give you one more piece of research for the day, and that is vaping is becoming more popular. More and more people are vaping because they think it's a safer alternative to smoking or other ways, I guess, of consuming, whether it be tobacco or cannabis. Well, the problem is that vaping is not healthy for you. I'm going to do a whole show most likely on this, or at least it'll be a bigger part of a Friday review, but I have to get this out to you now. When you vape, you are breathing carcinogens into your lungs, okay? You are breathing in things that are going to be distributed through the alveoli. Well, let me take one step back. Before we get to alveoli of the lungs... What we do is we breathe in air from either our nose or our mouth, and then it passes in through the throat, which is called the pharynx, and then down past the larynx into the trachea. It goes into the bronchioli eventually, and then it gets to the alveoli. And then what happens there is it enters into your bloodstream. So why I wanted to explain that to you is it goes directly into your blood. So that's why I'm such a big proponent of things like a shower filter. I don't want you to breathe in chlorine gases when you heat up all that water and it becomes a steam, a vapor, a gas that you breathe in through your nose and lungs in the shower, and then you get that chlorine directly into your bloodstream, which affects your thyroid and affects your nervous system and potentially your brain. So uh, again, a simple fix. And if you've never heard about a shower filter, just go to stephencabral.com forward slash podcast and just type in shower filter and you will find that show. So one other thing that I want to share with you is that when you are breathing in anything, and again, like the when I walk outside right now, when I head home, what happens is this. The, yes, there's going to be some pollution, and, and Boston's one of the cleaner cities, but it's still a city, and I'm still breathing in the brake dust and the car fumes and all those other types of things. Well, that I can't control necessarily unless I say, okay, I'm going to move out of the city, I'm going to move to the country, and you know, and that that's a different choice. But what I can control and what you can control is what you're purposely breathing in. So that's why I always say control what you can control. Don't worry about what you can't. Just make sure you're doing things like a quarterly detox and you're doing your overnight fast, those types of things to help your body out. Get your nutrients on a daily basis, like your daily nutritional support, your daily fruit and vegetable blend, the things that do what they're supposed to do, which is give your body the nutrients so that you can properly detoxify on a daily basis. Then exercise, right? Get that body moving. Huff out these things through your lungs. Then sweat, exercise, sauna, all that is highly beneficial. Well, here's the thing. Let's say you're doing those things, but you say, hey, I'm going to decide to vape instead of smoke. Well, the problem is this. They did multiple studies, and this one was just on e-cigarette users and their immune response to a flu-based vaccine. And here's the problem. It said that they were more susceptible than that of cigarette smokers and non-smokers 
to getting sick or their immune system being suppressed. This was done at the Center for Environmental Medicine, Asthma and Lung Biology, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. The doctor was Dr. Rebuli, and I will link this up today at stevencabral.com forward slash 1337. So what this study basically said was there's increased susceptibility to the flu because there's a weakened immunity because of vaping. So that's just one part of it besides the chemicals that you're breathing into your lungs. If you have a friend that is that vapes, I would highly recommend that they look in the research if they want, they can listen to the podcast, yes, but of course, they can just go to Google and type in side effects of vaping, dangers of vaping, carcinogens from vaping, or you can even send them one of those articles and show them the actual studies behind it. Remember, this information is available to all of us. We just have to dig in just a little bit, look at it, review it, and then understand that we need to make our best choices right now. And, and as we know, breathing anything into our lungs that is a chemical is going to cause a dangerous base side effect. So hopefully today's podcast was helpful. Love doing the Friday reviews. I know they're a little eclectic. They're a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but that's me, I guess. And, and that's my favorite from the end of the week, bringing you all the different things that I've kind of been looking at that I've wanted to share with you. And hopefully this has been helpful. If it has, always do feel free to share it with anyone else you believe it can serve. And don't forget, on the weekends, Saturdays and Sundays, we do our Cabral House Calls, where I answer your questions every single weekend. About 10 to 20 questions a weekend get answered, and super excited about that. So check it out. Take care, everyone. Have an amazing weekend. And don't forget, today, or actually the next day or two is your last day to get your free bottle of Vitamin B Complex. You can listen to the outro of this podcast, which should talk about all of its different benefits and how it is absolutely one of the most popular products to date. Take care. Have an amazing weekend. Before you go, I wanted to share a personal story with you. The real reason I began to get well finally is because I figured out what was wrong with me. And that might seem pretty obvious, but I went from doctor to doctor for over two years before discovering at-home functional medicine lab testing. These are the labs that enabled me to finally figure out what was wrong with my hormones, blood sugar, electrolytes, and gut health. And once I knew what was wrong, I could then follow a proven plan in order to rebalance my body from the inside out. This is why I believe so strongly in functional medicine lab testing and why I've made it my mission to share these labs with the world. Now at equa.life, you can order an at-home lab test or lab bundle for you and your family and be able to complete it within the week. Plus, the equal life difference is that you're not left to try to read and figure out these labs on your own. We explain what your lab numbers mean, what they mean in the much bigger picture, and then how to go about rebalancing your body in order to heal. To see our full selection of lab tests or to set up a free lab selection call to find out what labs may be best for you, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. And do remember, we ship these all over the world. To find out more and to set up your free lab selection call, simply head on over to equa.life forward slash labs. That's E-Q-U-I dot L-I-F-E forward slash labs.